this video tutorial I will explain how to write uh, update user details uh, client API call using uh, REST Assured. Here you can see RESTful Web Services client which is developed using REST Assured. Using this we can send uh, update user request to Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application process the request and uh, send the response uh, back to the client. And uh, we will see the example now. To update the user details, we have to send request to this URL. And uh, URL contains uh, user ID as a path parameter. And uh, HTTP method should be put. And uh, in authorization header, we have to send uh, JWT token. And uh, body should contain user information as a JSON. And uh, it contains uh, first name, last name, email address, password and array of addresses shipping address and billing address and we will see how to do it in the java code here i have defined a class users web service endpoint test and here i have applied a fixed method order annotation and it is name ascending suppose say we have method a method b and method c then a method will execute first then uh, B method will execute, then uh, C method will execute. Based on the method name uh, ascending order, it will execute. And uh, here I have defined a context path, email address, JSON, authorization header, and user ID. And uh, this A method is for uh, testing the user login. This method should execute first so that uh, we will get uh, JWT token and the public user id and b method is for uh, testing the get user details this we can disable now this is not needed and method c is for uh, testing the update uh, user details we can enable now Here I have defined the map user details and in that I have put user related information like first name, last name, email address and password. Then I have defined user addresses list. Then I have defined billing address map. In billing address map, I have put information related to billing address. Then I am adding a billing address to user addresses list then i have defined a shipping address map in that i have put shipping address related details then adding shipping address to user addresses list then in user details i am adding the user addresses list then i am using a rest assured method like given given dot request header content type should be application slash json and request header accept should be application slash json and authorization header should contain jwt token and path parameter has user id and in the body we have to pass user details which has user information and addresses information then dot when then I am using put method and sending request to this URL and the Spring Boot application process the request and it sends the response back and response should contain status code 200 and response header content type should contain application slash JSON and from that I am extracting the response and here I got a response object from response object I am getting a first name and last name and also I am getting stored addresses and here I am asserting everything is ok or not if everything is ok then JNU test case will pass otherwise it will fail here Spring Boot application is running here you can see the users table in that uh, current email address is uh, arun at yahoo.com and first name is Arun, last name is Kumar. This we are planning to change to 
first name is peter last name is john and email address is peter at yahoo.com and address table has two addresses now i am going to execute uh, this uh, j unit test cases here you can see there are uh, total four test cases in that uh, two are skipped because uh, we have disabled those uh, test cases and uh, errors are zero failures are zero and uh, green color shows uh, the j unit test cases were run successfully expand this and uh, the test case a has been passed and uh, b is skipped and uh, test case c is passed test case c is nothing but update user uh, test case in uh, spring boot application you can see the logs related to update call Here we will analyze the test client related logs. Click on console. This double arrow indicates the request went from test client to Spring Boot application. And this arrow indicates the response came from Spring Boot application to test client. Here you can see we have used a put method and request went to this URL. This is the public user ID and authorization header contains JWT token and some more request headers. And in the body, we send the user details. and we got the response the response contains 200 status code and here we got the response with the updated user details you can see first name is changed to peter last name is changed to john Email address is changed to peter at yahoo.com and the addresses. Here we can refresh and here you can see two addresses are updated. In users table, the email address is updated and the first name and last name also updated you can get uh, java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video here you can see the description section click on uh, show more and uh, here you can see the java source code links Click on these links to get the Java source code.